Make that Tapia out of here. Hammered out into right center field. Is anybody there? No. Two runs are going to score. Longoria, with one swing of the bat, has tied this game up. What is going on? Let me know if you can hear me because I had some technical difficulties. So how my uh, streaming software just simply was not working. And I don't know why uh, it went live. It was working on Twitch and it just was not, it was just not working with YouTube. So I jumped over here on StreamYard, which is fine because we're actually going to have a guest on in a little bit. Uh, so this actually makes that a little bit easier. But uh, anyway, we're still here. Uh, everything is going fa fantastic. Hopefully, uh, I see orange people all in the chat right now. Uh, hopefully, everyone found their way over here. Give them a few minutes for everyone to find their way uh, to the new chat. But uh, hopefully, everyone can hear me okay. And I don't see any complaints. So loud and clear, Brian Chua. Uh, so, hey, we're working. We we got it. Everything is fine. And uh, we are here, and we are looking at the Giants game. Let's see if we can make that a little bigger so you all can see it. Um, there you have it, six to one. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about so a case by case sports show is here. And I hope you guys were able to jump into his channel as we were in there hanging out and he was doing a great case, uh, a play by play. So we'd like to bring him on here shortly, but, uh, and get his thoughts as well in this one. And, uh, how, how, I mean, nothing was going right. My, uh, my live stream wasn't going right and nothing was going right in San Francisco today. And the Giants lose six to one. And that just goes to show how big yesterday's win was imagine if we lost yesterday and now down oh two oh my god it's just a whole different world instead we're tied and tomorrow is the battle to see who wins it i always thought it was going to be a two to three win but the giants gotta pick it up offensively they are not hitting with runners in scoring position it is so bad and tomorrow we got bueller against a bullpen so there's no way around it clearly the dodgers are going to be favorites tomorrow but uh nevertheless Let's go get this win. It is baseball. Anything can happen. David Knight, hate to see the Giants lose. Just wasn't your day. It was not our day. It was not our day. Crown's conservative baseball history by Victor is here. JJ, JP Ramirez, Logan M. Uh, Rye gets buckets. Uh, what is going on, everyone? Ramon Martin, you need to upgrade, bro. Um, yeah, uh, I just jumped on here. Everything is not actually set up the best on this uh on this platform because um i just didn't plan to come on here today so uh sorry about anything that looks a little awkward or not 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 normal but hey we got it we are used to it we still got the super chat videos ready to go we got everything here and uh guys we just cannot we got to keep our composure right now come on all right everybody that's what i'm talking about guys we've made a great effort so far let's just keep it up that's right we can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure. We've come too far. There's too much to lose. We've got to just keep our composure. Guys, keep keep our composure, everyone. Otherwise, it's done. So tomorrow, we got to keep our composure, guys. Let's go. Uh, Christopher Byers, world traveler. If you're new, subscribe. Raw, sir. Uh, I'm sorry. Rocker set. Rockers. I keep want to say sex. Rocker. Rock. Rockers Rex. Rockers Rex. Uh, Rockers Rex. Oscar Cervantes. Guess we're going to have a real division race for the rest of September. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. SoCal Rich. Let's keep our composure. Steven Ortega is here. And uh, it is on like Donkey Kong tomorrow at 6 o'clock. And everyone better be there. But uh, let's jump into the totals. We'll pick our guys. Then we're going to bring on uh, Jeremy to break this thing down for us because he was able to do the play-by-play. -play. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. Hit, hit, click the wrong button on that one. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see here. Where we got it. Dodgers 6, Giants 1. Uh, yeah, uh, one guy I, I got to give my guy of the day already. I'm just going to say it. Buster Posey seemed to find his swing today. 3 for 4. Got his batting average up to 304. Drove in the... Only run, I think. Yes, the only run. Uh, Buster Posey's my guy. Put your guy in the chat. Uh, Chris Bryant had a couple of hits. Wade Jr. hit the ball well. Um, but yeah, Jay Jackson, as much as I love Jay Jackson, uh, tonight is not your night, bro. Tonight is not your night, bro. It's not the night for the Giants or Jay Jackson. Harlan Garcia was pretty good. Uh, even got a chance to swing the bat a little bit. Uh, Alvarez continues to pitch well. Littell, uh was okay. Not, you know, uh, 
you know, not great, but he he uh he was all right. Uh Quintana, yeah, he got he got through it. Brebia actually pitched okay today. Uh Berger, you know, and then Long was not that sharp. So uh all in all, we got through the day. Okay, we got through it. Nobody got hurt, I don't think, and we're good to go for tomorrow, but it's gonna be rough. And everyone who's saying Giants have no chance tomorrow, I mean, I get it. I disagree. I think they have a chance, but I get what you're saying. Um, Daniel Tafoya is here. Uh, I'm done with Derek Ruff. Derek Ruff or Darren Ruff, uh, JJ. Um, didn't you see all those fake World Series trolls in the chat yesterday? Yeah. Um, I see uh, still people saying luck. Look, there's no luck. Yes, there is elements of luck in a baseball game. Broken bat, single. Ball takes a weird bounce. Those things happen. You don't have 80 wins at this point in the season, and it's luck. Both these teams are great, period. A little bit of luck here and there, sure. But if a team makes an error, I don't consider that luck like yesterday. I don't consider that. Are we lucky he made an error? I guess, but he made an error. That's their bad, and that's our uh, we didn't make an error when the Giants had a chance to make an error. Giants didn't. Now today, funny enough, it was the Giants who made two errors. It was the Giants who stunk it up. Not that the Dodgers stunk it up yesterday, but the Giants lose this game. Okay, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Wait till the playoffs to talk trash, like Crown Conservative says. Um, so you guys, just give me a minute here. I got to send out. All right, uh, back into the chat. Ramon Martin as a Rockies fan. The Rockies are hot right now. I'm predicting a Rocky sweep at home versus the Giants this Monday, Wednesday. Uh, absolutely. Uh, luck, give me a break. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Uh, yeah, that is true. Sometimes it is. Um, JP Ramirez, San Jose Sharks. I haven't heard much on Solano. I have not heard much on Solano, to be honest. So uh, hopefully... He's working his way uh, through his uh, his illness, and he'll be back soon. But I do think there's a, a certain amount of time you got to get to be on the IL because he tested positive about a week ago. So uh, yeah, he'll be back. I, I'm sure that he's, this dude's a beast. He'll be back very soon. Uh, what's up, some guy? A still have to rest uh, the month. Nothing set in stone yet. Rockies fan in the house. So love to see the Rockies fans here. I know we have some Diamondbacks fans. I know we have some uh, lots of Dodgers fans showing up. A few Padres fans here and there. Uh, you guys are amazing, and uh, I appreciate everyone today. Again, yesterday was just awesome. Just an incredible game. Uh, as advertised today, almost as expected, kind of, you know, when you got a bullpen game against a team like the Dodgers going with, Uri and, you know, the sad thing is Urias was not exactly sharp today. The Giants were hitting the ball fairly hard off Urias and they just could never uh, get it going. So couldn't get any runs home, you know, get guys in scoring position, can't bring them home. The Giants got nine hits today and the, and the Dodgers got Six. The Dodgers got less hits than the Giants by three, and yet they scored six runs and the Giants scored one. So that is a problem right there. Part of it, of course, is the bombs with uh, Tur uh, Trey Turner going deep in the first inning. Corey Seager goes deep with a bomb there off long, um, and uh, that's part of it. Giants are supposed to be hitting home runs. They didn't hit any today. They did have some extra base hits. I mean, imagine getting eight hits. I'm sorry, nine hits. And one, two, three, four extra base hits, doubles, but can't score more than one measly run. So just a tough game today. Nine left on base. Dodgers only six. We are definitely beat them, beating them in that. Team team running, runners in scoring position today, one for eight. Now the Dodgers are one for six, but again, the bombs make up for that. So a terrible job with runners in scoring position today. And we're going to bring on Jeremy to get his thoughts. I uh, hope you guys were able to, to join us for the stream. And what is going on? How's it going? Man, it is going pretty good. I, 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 I'm glad you had, you did a great job in that play-by-play. -play and Thanks. Uh, no problem. So maybe just tell everyone about you, your channel, whatever you want. And, uh, and we got to get your thoughts on the game, too. Yeah, absolutely. So currently, I am I sit in uh, Seattle, Washington. That's where I live currently right now. Um, you know, I've been, a, I've been a Giants fan for quite some time. Um, I was born and raised in Denver. So uh, I kind of finally realized that the Rockies were never going to win anything. So my second team, always my second favorite team was, um, was the giants. And you know, my favorite bands, Metallica, that's their team. So I was like, shit, well, that's my team now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, 
you know, I just gravitated towards the Giants. I, I like orange and black colors and, and, you know, all the history they've ever had. You know, Barry Bonds, Jeff Kent, Rich Aurelia, JT Snow, all those ah. teams were just so good. You know, Will Clark, so much history there in San Francisco. And I just like that culture out there. Um, but yeah, I, I do uh, I do coverage and live play by play for uh, the San Francisco Giants, Seattle Kraken, Denver Broncos, Denver Nuggets. I'll be doing those all year. Those are all my favorite teams. I know that's like a, a really random array of teams, but those <laughs> are my teams and those are what I stick with. But I mean, mainly tonight we're, we're talking about it again. It's the risk again. That's killing us. You know, we, we, we yeah. can get on base, but we just can't bring them home. And that's what's really, really killing the Giants right now. Not only that. We got to figure out this hole in our pitching rotation. There's a clear hole there. You know, it, it's kind of hard yeah. for me to fathom a team going to bullpen games this late in the season. You know, that's a yeah. clear indication that there's a hole in the starting rotation there. I mean, we don't have much time, but we do have time to figure it out. And we better figure it out quick because yeah. the Dodgers aren't stopping for nobody. Nope. And yeah, that and I- that was pretty evident tonight. Yeah, and I was thinking about the trade deadline. I was like, I, I think you might have talked about that, but I was like, can you give, get somebody, Kyle Gibson? Right. That doesn't have to be Max Scherzer, but somebody. Nope. Yeah, I, yeah, I was I wasn't thinking about that too because I was like Max Scherzer. You're like, if if it was between Max Scherzer or Chris Bryant, you're obviously going to go with Chris one or the other. You can't get both. You're just not going to yeah. have that type of money to do that. That's what I was talking about too. I was like, it, it didn't have to be a big name. It just had to be a solid arm, a guy who was going to give you five to six solid good innings and stay healthy. That's all we really needed. Yeah. I mean, but doesn't yeah. every other team that's trying to <laughs> <laughs> trying to close out a pennant and stay in a race. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But yeah, so I was a little surprised we didn't get anyone. I said, okay, I guess we believe in these guys. And then next thing I know, the the, the nightmare scenario, uh, injuries and uh, yeah, I don't know what Wood with uh, – what's wrong with Wood? Did you have COVID? I forgot now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So you got Wood down. You got Cueto. Oh, yeah. Wood got caught. And Cueto didn't feel well and he pitched terrible. So yeah, he got sudden, smacked around last night. And, it wasn't and, good. And, yeah, and the timing to have these two bullpen games couldn't have been worse against the Dodgers. Against, Absolutely. <laughs> against Urias and um, who's going tomorrow? Um, um, I don't forget. Bueller, right? Bueller, yep. Yeah, so. I mean, it, it even, like, it, it was really crazy because Urias was struggling with location tonight like he was really struggling to really dial in his pitches he got dialed in pretty late right after the fifth inning but you know those are those are situations you want to capitalize on and i mean the giants really responded well in the bottom half of the first inning you know they they got a run across but after that it just went quiet and we just couldn't capitalize on important opportunities it was it was really like weird tonight was just a weird game it didn't seem like I know the final says six to one, but I think it was really like a an instance of like three to one. I don't really think it was like, you know, and, yeah. and the Dodgers didn't necessarily play their game either. A lot of those runs came on sack flies, you know, uh, uh, like base hits. They really usually don't go that way. I mean, there was two homers in that game, but usually the Dodgers just kind of overpower people, and that wasn't really the case tonight. And it was just so weird. It was just a weird game all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, kind of was. And yeah, yeah, you mentioned like how could we lose and get three more hits than the Dodgers and, and lose six to one? Um, yeah, but like you said, runners of scoring position, risp, got to do killer. something. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a killer. So uh, let me just tell, give me tell some of these comments. I want to thank everyone for jumping in. Sad Burrito, JP Ramirez, JP Ramirez, Southern Cal, Rich, MLB Joey, Alejandro Gonzalez. When it's a reliever game and no Stella, Wade, or Craw, you know they're going to party tonight, take the W tomorrow. Let's keep it real. But yeah, tomorrow's going to be. Tomorrow's going to be tough, but, uh, you know, it's baseball. And anything can happen. Well, it's funny because Lestella was on deck at one point, and then Kapler ripped him. He had him out there on deck uh, waiting to pinch hit there. And I think it was like in the, like maybe the sixth inning, and then he yanked him again. I think, honestly, like I said, as the game progressed and, uh, you know, Sammy Long was struggling and Kapler wouldn't rip him out of the game, I think Kapler kind of just realized it was a done game. and uh, Yeah, I think so. I think he just like we'll we'll live to fight another day. We'll we'll come back tomorrow and and get the rubber match. What's the name of your channel again? So I can uh, uh, case by case sports show. Oh yeah, case by case sports. It's not really going to come up <laughs> all too that much because I just kind of got started. Quite honestly, I I, I, I want to <laughs> thank you so much, man. Because ever since you got all that response, and I've been just getting 
a really ton, a big ton of responses and I really oh, yeah. appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to put your link. Someone, uh, I'm going to put your link in the, uh, in the description. So yeah, go check, check uh, the channel out, hit that subscribe button over there. Yeah. It was a really good job of the play by me. I didn't know about you. Yeah. Cause you're, you're fairly new, I guess. That's why I didn't know until you hit me up. I hadn't seen your channel. Yeah. It's been a process for me. You know, I've been trying to, I've always admired guys such as John Miller even when I wasn't like the biggest Giants fan, but I've always admired doing play by play and I've always wanted to do play by play. And my family for years always told me you should do play by play. So now I'm doing it and yeah. uh, it seems to be working out. And I really appreciate it because I'm just, you know, I'm just some kid from Colorado. You know, I'm not really nobody too special, but I appreciate that everybody gives me the time. It, it doesn't go unnoticed, believe me. Yeah, it is. it's. I used to do it too. I used to play the video games and just do the play by play, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. So yeah, it's so cool. We got YouTube now. We got you don't have to have uh, you don't have to get hired by the Giants. We just jump on here and do it. And uh, yeah, yeah people, that people, that yeah. is one of the beautiful things about modern technology. I don't have to go to school. I don't have to yeah. sit there and go into debt and come out of you know broadcasting school with twenty thousand dollars worth of debt and then wait for the next <laughs> announcer to basically croak over and die before i can get in the spot of the announcer's booth i can just do it all from the comfort of my home yeah it's it's amazing yeah it's, it's really I love cool. it. like yeah yeah i started my, the channel with same 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 thought process and slowly you know, i don't do a whole lot of play by play i do a, a two or three games a year because yeah. I, I just i just like doing the post game by the time i've done the whole play by play i'm i'm pretty exhausted <laughs> so yes sad burrito uh, i will be doing monday's game yes if yeah, you want to so, know yeah, hey, make sure the, the rockies there. let me just say this real quick the rockies are nothing to tassel with either they have the best home record in their franchise history this year may that be known so when we go to colorado for three games just be prepared that those are oh, not going to be three easy wins. Great They're point. Not. Yeah, that's a great point. I saw that too the other day. I was like, these, these guys are terrible on the road, but at home, they're pretty much the best of the best. It's a funny thing. They're having the worst road record in franchise history, and they're also having the best home record yeah, in franchise crazy. history. Crazy. Like, what a weird, weird season for the Colorado Rockies. I, I spent, you know, 25 years in Denver, and the whole time, I you know, I would go to Coors Field and I've never seen anything like this. So it's going to be extremely interesting come Monday. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, thank you for that uh, world traveler, $5 super chat. Got to get my beauty, sweet beauty sleep. Eric, nice meeting you case by case. Go giants. I appreciate that so much. That's right. Another factor. Also, I want everybody to know in here, giants haven't had a day off in a long time. Okay. And we just went through two sets of division leaders. Now we're in our third set of division leaders. We went through the Braves, the Brewers. Braves are leading the NL East. Brewers are leading the NL Central. Now we're here, the you know, battling for the NL West. So fatigue is going to play a role in this. Yeah. And it, it's burning. It's burning. And we haven't had a day off in in those times. And you know, we we had to travel all the way back from the East Coast too. So it's Just, it's uh, it's unlikely timing, but we don't have much time. But we do have some time. And Giants got to figure it out, man. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, yeah, we don't have, and we still don't have a day off for a while. It's going to be uh, not yeah, until Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday of next week is our only day off for quite a while too. Yeah, and then another one till the twentieth, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. just insane. Uh, so yeah, it's a tough stretch, but yeah, this is this is the home stretch. You, you can't start playing bad now. You can. We'll be in that wild card game, which I, I do not want any part of that. But that's what it comes to. Yeah, just don't don't panic though, Giants fans. Do not panic. If all else fails, we will be in the playoffs. Like you said, you don't want to go to a one game playoff and play whoever, you know, yeah. assume, assuming that will be probably, uh, I want to say Atlanta, probably, maybe, or uh, no, is it Cincinnati that's hanging on to that? It could be other Cincinnati. wild card spot. Yeah. It, I mean, the Giants own the Reds, but still, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's not something it's you want game. to. It's, it's one, one game. game. Yeah. yeah. It's one it's game. It's one game. <laughs> Hey, yeah. you know, that's baseball. I mean, I, just to I, get into the playoffs. Yeah, I, I've yeah. never been a fan of it, the one game, because it's just, you know, you, you are 100 team win and you lose to an 82 win team. All of a sudden you go home. It's like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. That would, <laughs> that, that's <laughs> been unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. But just, uh, uh, just ask the Rockies how that worked for them in 07. Exactly. Sabrito says, You've been to a Rockies game lately? I don't know how, uh, how long ago since you moved to uh, Seattle or. 
Oh, I've I've left I left Colorado in like 2016. It's oh, been, so it's been it's a while. Been, it's been a while. I did go to a couple Mariners games this year though, because I really wanted to see Shohei Otani when he yeah. was really uh, smacking it around. I went and saw them, and then um, went to an Astros game too, just to see uh, just to see all the hype and the booing. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, you live yeah. right there in Seattle. That's uh, yeah. I don't. How's the Mariners hype over there? A lot of Mariners fans. Like, I mean, uh, it's coming around because they're actually starting to uh, starting to turn things around. They're really they're really becoming a solid ball club. Um, I, I do. I think they're going to take the AL West. Probably not, but they'll nah. make a good run at that wild card spot. I mean, they got man. Uh, what's his name? Chris Flexen. Man, that guy is a monster. That guy can yeah, deal. Yeah. That yeah. guy can deal and then deal some more. Chris Flexen. He's He's a he's a hell of a starter for that Seattle Mariners team, um, but yeah, I mean, everybody's we're just kind of like every baseball community right now is just waiting for that last shoe to drop, ready for October to start, yeah, ready for the playoffs to come in and and see what's going to happen. See how this absolutely. I, I, I think what we're really waiting for is the last two to one weeks of the season because that's when really that's when it's really going to get set in stone and it's really going to get interesting. It is. It's going to be nuts, yeah. I mean, unless barring some epic collapse, but I don't think that's happening. Uh, so we'll see. But we're not the Mets. No, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, we, I've been told. <laughs> we've been told all year we're gonna we're gonna fall apart, and it hadn't really happened. We're in a little tough stretch right now, but uh, by no means is it you know a Mets uh, Mets type collapse. Giants have too much offensive power to collapse. Like y- you see it tonight. You know. Even when all the rest of the guys are having a bad game, Buster Posey comes out and goes four for four. You know, yeah. they, there's a, there's elite talent there. I mean, Crawford had the night off too. Let's not forget this. Crawford had the night off and he's been absolutely killing it. He leads the Giants in batting average. He's hitting 290. I mean, Posey's probably leading him now, hitting over 300, but Crawford's there, man. I mean, last yeah. night you saw it with the game save, one of the game saving plays he had. He threw, threw that ball home. And then contributed to to set the Giants up to win that game. I mean, it's it's going to be okay. Yeah. There's a lot of things that people aren't really thinking about here that happened tonight. So I mean, I mean, credit to the Dodgers though. I mean, they they do have power firepower too. I mean, it's probably going to be a second round playoff matchup. It's probably going to be us and the Giants or the Dodgers. Yeah, so it, it wouldn't surprise cool. me. Man, that's going to be it's absolutely crazy. Jenny Vega, 104 in the channel. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. I appreciate that. Chat is uh, blowing up right now, so apologies. We can't get to all your comments. Uh, but yeah, uh, Bo apologize. Falcon, JP, Cody Garcia. I I know I don't even get to them all on a normal day, but uh, obviously we have a, a guest on the channel. It's even harder. But I appreciate everyone being here. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, we don't know who's pitching tomorrow, Jenny. Ask him who's pitching tomorrow. I have no idea. I think it's going to be a bullpen game, right? Yeah, because even today, up until about an hour and a half till game time, a starter wasn't named for the Giants either. So I think uh, what the, probably Gabe Kapler and company with the pitching staff is going to evaluate to see who's who's filling what tomorrow. And uh, they'll probably go from there. Yeah, just uh, obviously today didn't work. Uh, probably won't be Jay Jackson again, but uh, yeah. Who yeah, knows? he only went a third yeah. of an inning. Yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> just, that yeah. was a terrible, terrible start. He got smacked around the yard really good in, in his only – third of an inning tonight it was it was a bad bad start for him yeah but it was it, it was just, it's just it's coming down to a point of injuries and bullpen management like you're kind of stuck in a rut right here right now and you kind of just don't have a choice you, you know you, you're gonna field who you can minus a position player pitching on the mound you know you yeah. gotta you gotta go you, if you gotta take a few losses i would rather take a few losses now if that means that the giants are completely healthy come the postseason I really oh, rather yeah. would. Yeah. Even if that, that means sense. we fall all the way to a wild card spot, I don't care because health, as we all know in every single sport, health means everything in the postseason. As the, the healthier teams are typically the ones, barring a few exceptions, the healthier teams are typically the ones that make it. That make it it's the true. furthest, yeah. honestly. And I would, I would rather take a few losses now, get in a wild card spot, and be completely healthy come playoff time. I really rather yeah. would. I, I thought it was. I, I even thought it was a questionable thing to play Longoria <laughs> tonight because you can even see Longoria. He was kind of hopping around. You know, he was. He wasn't like a hundred percent. You could tell he's close, but he wasn't a hundred percent. And I understand he's got to get those reps in, but, um, you know, I just I think that was even a questionable call tonight. 
you know, yeah, by, by Gabe Kapler to play Longoria, but uh, he didn't look too bad. He had a they had a pretty nice little play there, flipping it over to Brandon Belt uh, at first that that one yeah. time. So he, I mean, we just gotta we just gotta stay healthy. That's the most important thing. I don't I, I like I understand division titles are great, but health is what's going to ultimately give I us would a deep be run. Uh, yeah the only thing I worry about is the wild card game otherwise I don't I wouldn't be tripping at all no. uh, yeah it used to be wild card was just another team you go straight to the NLDS they added that second wild card and now it's a one game and I know it's for excitement I get it but it's just uh, I, it's nerve wracking it's it's rough I mean yeah that's <laughs> not at least still if we can be the number one wild card game we get at least a home game um because right. if you're the ro- yeah if you're on the road you don't even get a home game if you lose that game yeah i mean that's just bad you got to go on the road all the way to the world series yeah so uh yeah hopefully we'll uh hopefully we'll be the number one wild card game get that get that uh yeah get that game at at oracle win that game and then go to nlds and uh yeah if it's got to be the if it's the dodgers that's supposed to be insane if it's not the dodgers well that's my that's good too (laughs) if it's not the dodgers it'll be the brewers yeah it'll be the brewers so well yeah wait you know Let's, they just let's won be, three out of four. Yeah. <clears throat> well, in the the series before that, when we went to Milwaukee, I actually called a couple of those games. And let's be honest here, we won those games with luck. You know, you were talking about luck earlier, but yeah, there's no way you get to 80 games with just luck. But those two games that we took out of the Brewers, out of the three, they were all on filter errors. Uh, were, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. You're- they were all on just pure luck, man. The the Brewers had. You know, it was one nothing. Had I remember that that was like eleven innings. Yeah, the we drop fly winning, ball. Yeah. yeah, we ended up winning nine to six. I called that game, and it was insane. But you know, it was one nothing till the ninth inning. So we have to we have to understand. You know, we have to look at those things and understand that as well. Well, well, we got some good pitching at least. I mean, Woodruff um, is a monster. Yeah, yeah, Woodruff is going to be tough. Timmy <laughs> haven't said he's retired. Jerk. Uh, just looking at some of the comments here. Dodgers own the Brew Crew. Chris Taylor. Yeah, Dodgers uh, own the Brew Crew, but you know the playoffs a whole different monster. We'll see. Obviously, Is that the, the Dodgers... Chris Taylor? Is that the Chris Taylor? I, I, I like don't Chris think Taylor so. that just played in the game tonight. Is that him? <laughs> no. Okay. I, I, I never. I, I if that was the, never yeah, I get a lot of I get a lot of celebrities in here, uh, and I don't think they're ever the real person. Yeah. I just <laughs> I just assume it's not. If it is, let us know, Chris, if you're the real Chris Taylor. Right. Pete Salsa, great game. Bruce Davis, uh, hope to pitch for your game tomorrow. Uh, Aussie Craig, what? see what a decent chair looks like. Eric, uh, oh, yeah, my chair is falling apart. I appreciate that. Sad <laughs> burrito. Uh, hey, I, I go shopping at the Goodwill. So, um, yeah, we own the Brewers in the playoffs. Um, yeah, Aussie Craig, appreciate that. But everyone, uh, thank you all for jumping in. We're just uh, breaking down this game today, which was uh, not a whole lot to break down. Just a weird game, and just gonna try to get the series tomorrow. But the, the good, yeah, yesterday's win was so huge because you know we'd be facing a possible sweep tomorrow, and then going down three games. Instead, the best the Dodgers can do is have a one game lead after this series. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, hey man, so, if, the only thing that should matter about a chair is if you're comfortable in it comfortable yeah. <laughs> that's all that should matter okay yeah i mean i'm gonna be honest with you this is a nice little chair but it's pretty stiff it's not really on the yeah. comforting side no this is com- this is a comfortable chair but it's definitely t- t- getting torn apart here I- i'll i'll be looking on the- i'll be on the lookout for a better one but I- i'm not gonna you know i don't just buy 300 dollars chair so we'll see what i can find no no definitely i don't either this was only like 160 it wasn't that bad oh, okay yeah that's got, a nice looking chair Walmart. Oh, it's pretty good. Seb, yeah. it's got some blue on it. Oh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I didn't really have any choice over the color. Otherwise, I would have picked yeah. orange or. Yeah, because we got a, yeah. we got a good orange and black. I love this this display. You got that cool background. I got the Giants background. Yeah, you got the the orange. You got the black shirt. We got yeah. It's, oh, that's nice here. I got the there I see go. orange people. So uh, we're good <laughs> to go. Uh, <laughs> I think this was a giveaway at Oracle a few years ago, but uh, I wish. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish I could uh, get my hands on a jersey, but have you seen jersey prices have spiked so tremendously? Like yeah. the 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 black ones they were wearing tonight, like a blank one is like going like almost three hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I think I did see that. That was up from like one fifteen. I was like, good God, I'm like I'm not gonna get that. Uh uh-uh. Like I ain't got that kind of money to spend uh-uh. on a blank, man. No, Ooh. yeah, it ain't happening. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah, best I can do is go get the 
they're giving away it's not even a jersey i think it's a t-shirt but they're giving oh, away that, that uh Lamont Lamont Lamont. jr yeah 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 awesome so I, i've be, seen that all promoted tonight yeah oh, i got my tickets for that one and uh other than that awesome. yeah I, I did find jerseys at the uh uh sometimes i i find them but you know on ebay or something but yeah i don't i don't I'm not gonna spend three hundred dollars plus so Yep. E forty was at the game tonight. So was that Marlins guy. You know that that lawyer. Oh yeah, Marlins yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Marlins yeah. man was there. He was sitting right next to E forty, right behind home plate. That was crazy. Oh, oh yeah, sick man. Yeah, I I I I, I, met, I think I met him once back in twenty fourteen World Series. He's a cool dude. But uh, yeah, what a life. Yeah, just go that's, anywhere and see any game. That's that's I don't that's even know. That's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm gonna be up in section three fourteen if y'all y'all find me up there um bleed blue hold this l uh yeah congratulations on the win uh, dodgers fans here y'all told me y'all was gonna sweep though so uh that didn't work out tyler burbeck marlins man's gonna be at the game tomorrow i'm sure he will be i'm sure uh, yeah yeah cody six more times i'd be stroking thank you guys so much for joining me um <laughs> yeah well how long we've we been going here 31 minutes yeah not a whole lot of time left but uh yeah i don't know just uh is this, any more thoughts you have on this game and and, and the upcoming uh games and series and the rest of the season well, uh, just like I said, don't take Colorado lightly. You're going into their house. They got the best uh, home record in their franchise history right now, and they continue chugging on um, tomorrow. Um, we we got to win this game. It's a must win. Quite honestly, I, I know I you know you don't want to really put constructs on games like that, but you got to win tomorrow. You got to win to to at least stay within the relevancy of having a chance at winning the NL West. Because, like, like yeah. you said, we get to that wild card game, then it uh, it starts getting really, really sweaty and <laughs> not comfortable at all. Yeah. So, yeah. But thank you exactly. to everybody in the chat. I do appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate your support, man. Um, but yeah, uh, as of right now, with my current work schedule, I can only do games on the weekends. But I'm going to be changing my work situation here i should be able to call every single giants playoff game once we get into the playoffs so i'll be doing that then yeah that's going to be awesome i'll definitely be jumping into some of those uh streams inviting Absolutely. people and uh yeah and then i'll be i'll be ready for the post games there um so thank you guys everyone awesome. for jumping in logan crown concertas eddie r uh william uh, 33 danny Giants fans were saying the Giants were going to sweep. I don't know what Giants fans were saying that, but I wasn't saying that. I, was, I wasn't saying that at all. I was actually really nervous. I didn't think yeah. we were going to win one game, considering that we took one of four from Milwaukee. I was really nervous yeah. coming into this series. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't saying that at all. <laughs> no. I was hoping to, 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 I mean, best case scenario, I was thinking it was two out of three, and that's still what I'm yeah. thinking. So that's best case. I, I had no expectation of sweeping the, the Dodgers. If that would have happened, it would have just been party time. So, uh, yeah, Christopher, Manny, Logan, Sad Burrito, Jenny Vega, everyone, I put the link in the in the chat uh, uh, to uh, to Case by Case Sports. So go subscribe over there. Emerson Bell, 499. How you like them apples, hum, baby? Also, Posey Man. Took a hit last night. Great that both teams didn't beat each other. Oh, yeah. Uh, trying to keep everything civilized. So uh, awesome. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, yeah. who? Somebody got beamed tonight. Was it Lamont Wade Jr.? Yeah, he got beamed tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he sure did. I, I just think that was a control issue. I don't really think that was personal. Like that, that, that kid came in the game, and it was the first pitch. And, you know, yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily think he meant anything by it. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, it happens. Um, so, oh, how well, real quick before I get out of here, how about that bulk call? Yeah. Oh, great. I, yeah. I can't believe I forgot to. I didn't see anything. What in the like? It, he did do the same thing he does every time. Quintana, yes, Quintana. The, it, I don't understand what the umpire was exactly talking about because every motion after that, I watched Quintana and it looked like the same thing. Yeah, it didn't look like he changed anything yeah. in his approach. Yeah. Like I, I get that it was kind of a little mini windup working from the the stretch, but it wasn't it wasn't an illegal move. Uh -huh. And in my opinion, I don't I didn't think that at all. I mean, I, I played the game for eight years. I wasn't a pitcher. And I'm I'm not really familiar with exactly what constitutes a bulk, but I know it's just an inconsistency, and there was no inconsistencies uh -huh. with Quintana's delivery. And I don't understand what that was all about. Quite honestly, yeah, that was that that was a uh -huh. very very questionable call. I got nothing. He, I thought he must have not come to a full stop. So I watched he 
clearly came to a full stop. And he, then he, he, and I was listening to like John Miller on the broadcast. He's like, I saw nothing either. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. That was. I, I, I explain how Johnny Cage explain how I want to know how that was a bulk because if you can explain it to me because I, I just didn't see how it was there was no change in his delivery at all not from what I could see oh, yeah I didn't see it either at first I yeah. saw oh, the way he stepped maybe then I watched but he did that every time I said okay yeah. that's his normal his normal delivery he did like a little step forward and then he does it so I said maybe that's why no because he does that every time so I, I couldn't tell uh, unless it was something beforehand, but uh, I'm waiting to see if this guy says uh, no. Tyler Balk is not a reviewable play. You cannot review that. Then he changed to the windup. No, he that's that's his delivery though. That's how he did it every single time afterwards, and they didn't call a bulk then. That's Quintana's delivery. Yeah, peace that's salsa. Uh, Four ninety nine super chat. That great series on both teams. Can't wait for the game tomorrow. Hope the boys of blue can get the series dub. Go Dodgers. Thank you so much, Pete Salsa. Uh, big supporter of the channel, and uh, Johnny Cage says started with one motion, then he changed to the windup. Mm, okay, Crown Conservative said it's because he did not tell them if he was going to be going from the stretch or from the windup. I guess you have to notify the umpires that. Really? Which I uh, yeah, I didn't know that. Like everything's so different at a major league level, I'm not entirely sure. It has to be clear where he's going to pitch from. Every I, single I, time, hey, I'm going to do the stretch this time. I right. <laughs> so not only do they have to be stripped at every single inning, strip search, now they have to tell the umpires where they're going to go from. Man, a lot of responsibility put on pitchers lately. Yeah. I. That's first I've heard of that. I've been watching baseball in 30-something years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is up? I be stroking $5. Let's go blue. Shout out to all the Giants, Dodgers, Giants fans, keeping it classy. Poor Padres fans on suicide watch. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what a so disappointing much. season they've had, huh? Man, oh for all God. the talent that they got and came in there, un unbelievable. I, I expected them to be – I expected it to be a three-team race. I mean, I didn't really expect anything from the Giants, quite honestly. This was out of oh, nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm a Giants fan, and people were calling me. I was giving, like, 82 wins, and people were calling – or I think I gave him 84. I, I, I forgot, but they were calling me Homer, like, dude, you're an idiot. If you think the Giants are going to win 80 – well, they've already won 80 games, and we're, we're – <laughs> We still got about a month of the season left. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I, I was actually, you know, too hard on them, as it turns out. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah, well, it is what it is. Thank you so much, man, for letting me join on. I'm going to bounce out here. i got to take care of the wife and kids. All right. I, do, I do really appreciate you having me on and the support you guys have given me. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm usually live every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time with my show. I do talk Giants as well, and then I do play-by-play -play as well. So if you want to catch me there, you can right on my channel. I believe the link is in the description, so in the chat. So you guys can do with it what you will. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. All right. Thank you so much for being here. And y'all check out Case by Case Sports. Hit that subscribe button. Have a See good night. Everyone. Stay tea. safe. All right. And what is up, everyone, in the chat? I want to thank everyone for joining me today. We've already come in at 38 minutes, so uh, I will ch check out some of the comments that I missed here before we go. William Henry, off topic, but I changed my profile picture. I like how well my hair is growing. Oh, great! a great profile picture. Looks, looks awesome. Uh, Blue Magic, let's go Dodgers. Crown Conservative, Mets are a joke. Uh, Ivy Struggle, let me send a thank you to all that sent a super chat today. And we'll do the Hunter Pence stance. And guys, keep your composure. We just got to keep our composure. Back to the authority. Uh, uh, Orthodoxy Logan, uh, love the uh, uh, night uh, crown conservative Cody Garcia guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, case by case. He just happened to uh, hit me up and um, I checked out. He said he was doing a play by play. He had some videos. I checked out. I was like, yeah, it's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Pretty professional actually. Uh, so yeah, I said, you know, we need to help this guy out, grow his channel and his brand. Um, Cause that's what we do here at home baby baseball. We like to uh, collab. We like to bring uh, other creators on when we can. So thank you guys so much. Sizer souls, blue magic. I be Strogan, an actual rivalry. I be Strogan. Thank you again for that super chat. And everyone else who sent a super chat today uh, means a lot. Bleed blue smoke on the water. What are we going to say? Smoke on the water.
Do I remember how to play it? There we go. There we go. Uh, anyone else in the chat today before we bounce out of here? Thank you guys again. William Henry, win or lose, I'm always here in Giants Channel to reflect on the games between the Giants and L.A. Minus the unnecessary disrespect of trash talk. Trash talk is fine. I mean, I trash talk to a certain extent. Um, but it's really not to the point of saying you guys stink, you suck, because clearly you don't. Um, I can say you suck today. And if a Dodgers fans want to say, Giants, y'all suck today, I got to I gotta take that and own that because they pretty much did for the most part. Uh, pitching wasn't great. Um, the offense couldn't get hits with runners in scoring position, and it wasn't good. But as far as the 2021 Giants, if you want to say they stink, you just sound kind of dumb in my opinion. Uh, but I appreciate everyone anyway. Thank you guys so very much. William Henry. Uh, Emerson Mel for the 499. Uh, sorry about it, about the technical difficulties. It took me a while to get the show going. I had, I had something really weird was going on. I need to figure that out. So I still don't know, but I'm glad I got to get on here. Tomorrow, I may not be able to get, do live, believe it or not. If I do, it'll be uh, a car video. Uh, but uh, I will try to go live at some point tomorrow after the game. I'll keep you all updated. So just keep an eye on my community tab. And uh, you got to shave to reverse the loss. I, I, I could shave. I actually don't mind shaving. It's actually more comfortable. But uh, – Actually, I think I think about right now. I think I think this is a better look, but I could be wrong. Um, Eric, I'll be at the game tomorrow, and uh, that's awesome, Tyler Burbeck. Uh, I, I would love to go to tomorrow's game. I will be at some games very soon. I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. Um, but I have uh, have a busy day tomorrow. I'm going to try to get to the post game, and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible after the game. Uh, I'll keep you all updated. Uh, if I can't do it, yeah, it just depends. If it's a if it's a if it's a boring game or something, maybe I won't. But if it is a, a legit game that we have to talk about, I'll find some way uh, to go live. So just keep an eye out, William Henry. I'm glad my Dodgers won this game, redemption, and it paid off. And it's all about tomorrow, guys. You didn't you didn't think that this series was not going to have a rubber match, did you? It was absolutely going to have a rubber match. So. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, we got to get it done. Now keep the bearded look. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, fully shaved, like, all the way is actually more comfortable to me, but it doesn't look as good to me, I don't think. Um, Pern Amore, MLB Joey, Tyler Burbeck. Guys, uh, once again, go subscribe to Case by Case Sports. Thank you for being the guest today, Jeremy. Great channel. Great job. German Watt Rottweiler is here. Christopher Byars and everyone else, thank you so much. Have a great day. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And you know we're going to talk to you tomorrow i don't i don't usually play the the bye bye baby song man man you, when we do a loss i'll do the toned down version when the giants come to town it's supposed to be bye bye baby every time the chips are down it's supposed to be bye bye baby Will history be in the making at Oracle Park? We're going to cheer for the batter and light the spark. When it's time for Giants baseball, supposed to be bye-bye, baby. But tonight it wasn't. It's time for Giants baseball. It's supposed to be bye Bye, baby. And hopefully it will be tomorrow. Yep, tough game today. You guys have a fantastic day. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate everybody in the chat. And uh, we will talk to you tomorrow. And uh, today's game, I, I, all I can say is... I saw that going differently in my mind and uh giants you know jay jackson i love you jay jackson from the bottom of my heart jay jackson i'm a huge fan but today you blew it see ya Belt.
left. It's a high drive to right. Blackman back or make that Tapia out of here. Hammered out into right center field. Is anybody there? No. Two runs are going to score. Longoria with one swing of the bat has tied this game up. Shame on you. I thought we were in this thing together. I'm just as scared as you are, but this has to be done. We don't want the bad guys to win. We gotta do this for, for, for justice, for freedom, for honesty. Boy, do I feel ashamed. Me too, I feel like two cents. I'm back in. You can count on me. Oh, hey, I was only joking. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun to go out there and risk our lives. Yeah. yeah. All for one and one for all. Yeah. yeah.